Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about two settings that almost every single ad network does that helps to really drive up your costs when it comes to ads. So you're going to want to avoid these two settings like the plague. Okay, it's going to be very important that you do not follow these recommendations that almost every single ad platform has for you when you begin when you begin running ads for your business. So let's get into today's video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, this is a great place to learn. I have a digital marketing agency. I run tons of ads each month across all kinds of platforms. I build funnels, talk about SEO, PPC ads, all kinds of things related to digital marketing. So if you wanna grow your brand or your business with digital, this is a great place be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. So let's talk about running ads. So many times, especially when you're beginning and you're just new, you will get on, and I'll see this with clients constantly, well, they'll get on to running ads and they just typically go with the default settings when it comes to running ads in your campaigns. And it makes sense that they're gonna just go with the recommendations that the platforms are using. So the two that I'm thinking about specifically are Google AdWords, and Facebook ads, which are by, by and far the most common and most popular ad platforms for small businesses. And it makes sense. You're thinking, hey, they want me to be successful. I'm gonna follow the recommendations and see what happens. But the two things that I think you have to avoid are these. Number one, you need to make sure that you do not do automatic placements. So Facebook has automatic placements and, and AdWords has automatic placements. Let's talk about what that means for each. With Facebook, they have different placements that they put the ads. So they'll do Instagram, Instagram stories, uh, the ad network, which are like third-party apps that they run display ads on. You'll have in-stream, like in the newsfeed. You'll have right-hand column. You'll have all of these, you know, messenger home, all kinds of places to run ads. And that sounds great, right? They're like, hey, if you open automatic placements, you're gonna be shown more frequently. That's true, you will get shown more frequently. But here's the problem. The ads that you create don't necessarily look good and they don't fit in all of these spots. Now you're gonna wanna test and see what works best for your business. But for the most part, and especially with Facebook, mobile newsfeed is where you're gonna get the best bang for your buck. And that's just super general, right? With most of the clients that I'm doing work for, you just have more real estate to work with there. It's totally gonna depend on your demographic though. If you're doing Facebook ads versus Instagram ads, Instagram has great placements with stories and, and video and things like that. But you want to make sure that each one of your ads is in a different placement based on how the ad is created, what it looks like, the size of the ad, and the constraints that you're working with. So that's specifically for Facebook. And just it, it's very important that you're testing out where are the best placements, what's the best cost per action, because ultimately that's what matters most. Where's going to be the best place that you can get the best return for your money. Now with Google, it's very different. The automatic placements that they give you, especially if you're doing search campaigns, they're gonna show you all over the place. And if you just leave the default settings, there's two clicks that you can do. So it'll show you on the display network and then the partner network. And typically if you're trying to do search campaigns, I think it's very misleading for Google to be doing this because they'll say, you know, like here, they recommend that you go and you put your ads that are not formatted for display to be put all over display networks. So I think that that's actually super misleading, pretty shady. And if you don't click those two buttons when you're setting up your campaigns, it's gonna automatically do that. If you're using a smart campaign, it's gonna automatically put it out there too. All, of, all this does is it gives you a ton of impressions and it makes it look like lots of things are happening, but in reality, it's not the right traffic for you. If you're trying to sell a product or service for people searching for a specific product or service, you don't wanna be showing up as a display ad on some related contextual website. It's just not gonna be helpful. You're gonna be paying for that. It's gonna reduce your quality score and it's gonna make things work out a lot less good. So I think that that's important. The other thing that I think is uh, very important to do is that when you're also showing up for different searches and things, a lot of times in these networks, it'll say, try adding more interests or try adding more audience. So we have the placements and the audience, and that's what makes up an ad. So the second piece is how detailed you're gonna get on the specific group of people that you're reaching. Now for Google and Facebook, they're very, very different beasts in that 
Facebook, you typically like to have a larger size audience, you know, up to a specific point. It needs to be relevant to the content that you're putting out. But just because they're very different in how people engage and interact on each of the platforms, you're gonna have to figure out what works for you. But that being said, adding more target audience and just expanding the area that you're gonna cast your net, it's not necessarily the right way to go about it. This is especially true with Google Ads. So they'll say, hey, if you added these 17 keywords, you're gonna get more impression share. And that's true, but they're all broad, almost all the time they're broad match keyword suggestions that they're saying you should be doing. And so that is just gonna get you crappy traffic. It's gonna get you a lot more views and things, but it's not gonna be the right thing. I'll give you an example. If we put in, like I, I run a lot of ads for veterinarians and um, with the veterinarians, we'll always get the suggestions of, hey, add these keywords and you'll get more views. I remember one of the clients that we had, they were running broad match campaigns for veterinarian and they were getting phrases like um, low cost euthanasia clinic for my cat. They were active, actively showing up for searches where people were wanting to put their cat down. And that wasn't a good situation. You, you don't wanna be, if you're gonna be paying for clicks and advertising, you don't wanna just lump in all this other traffic. Sure, you can show up more, but are they really the people that you want to be attracting into your business? Because my guess is you want to be attracting the right kinds of people, not just everybody, but if you're gonna pay for it, you want the best kinds of clients coming in. So I will say too that if you want any help, be sure to head on over to maverickdigitalmarketing.com. You can request a free consultation. I'll do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you for 30 minutes to help generate some marketing ideas for you. So if you ever need help, be sure to reach out there or comment below. And if you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next video.